Hey guys, uh, this is Ali and uh, welcome to another tutorial for uh, Cinema 4D and uh, we're definitely not gonna make this that's for sure F uh, hell no, no tutorial <laughs> no, that's uh, actually uh, uh, a project for uh, Cinema 4D Tots and this is their um, basically what's gonna be uh, what you call it, uh, their logo basically this robot is supposed to be transformed to their logo and uh, I had uh, the chance to, to work with uh, a deformer which is I never played with or used it before and it's called uh, Correction I think uh, it was pretty interesting I was trying to get this kind of shape over here as you can see here that bending kind of look uh, that, and uh, I asked the question how to get this kind of smooth kind of bend and uh, uh, so most of the answer I got is to use uh, other to use a uh, turp I think topper or something tape or something uh, or the wiggle wiggle uh, deformer uh, or I can use the we call it the bend deformer uh, but mostly the wiggle deformer I think this is the one that works uh, really good with the with what I need and plus I had the chance to play around with the correction and basically I understand a little bit and how to use it uh, but yeah like you can see like just playing around with these deformers can really create for you some uh, pretty awesome uh, kind of deformation and really smooth as you can see uh, but yeah let me show you how to use the uh, what you call it the deformation or the correction sorry my bad alright so you can find it in your deformation list here, over here the deformer list and it's called correction and just for the sake of this uh, tutorial I'm gonna use a cube but you can use it for anything you want you can use it even on a text object it works fine uh, so and one more uh, one more thing is uh, say for example my cube now have segment by one by one by one so basically there's not enough segment to to create some cool deformation or smooth deformation so just for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna set this to be 30 by 30 by 30 so we have enough segment to our point to work with and that's it you just put the correction a child of the cube and you just click update once and uh, it will seem to you sometime if you have slow machine or something like this it will seem to you that Cinema 4D crash or uh, says not responding on the top of you here but it's not just give it uh, a second or two and we'll go back to normal and if you go to the point mode now and you can see that we have really a good amount of points to play around with and now basically you can select any point you want move it around and using the strength you can animate them so for example like I said you can use select point by point or you can select uh, like this you know maybe I don't know uh, different kind of points and move them around, do some crazy stuff, and you can animate them. Uh, before, I, I don't think in 11.5 we had this uh, uh, kind of power or to manipulate points, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, and one, uh, the, another important thing when you're doing this kind of uh, moving points and stuff like this, you need to be in the. You need to make sure that you, I mean, uh, select. Uh, make sure that you select the correction, not the cube, the actual cube you just select the correction and let me show you another tool that uh, actually uh, gives you more interesting result if you go to mesh over here and go to transform tool uh, tools and go to brush now using the brush you can get pretty interesting effect um, I think I used it before to show you how to create a landscape in my old channel the 696 baby I showed how to use the you know how to create pretty interesting landscape and stuff like that using the brush tool and the magnet uh, but yeah uh, like I said you can you know like as you can see uh, you can just click and drag move around and create your own kind of deformation as you can see here so it, it's all about you know playing around I guess and getting your own deformation and also uh, I had a question on uh, Vimeo uh, I think a guy want to enter the Red Bull competition or something they have I think Red Bull had some kind of animation competition also done enter it and someone sent me a question on uh, Vimeo 
and ask me like how to deform get pretty nice deformation and have full control of the deformation and uh, on uh, red ball can so that's how I you know I know about the correction mostly uh, from this kind of uh, you know so I told them to use the correction because it's you have more control of the deformation and the shape of the deformation plus you can animate it using the strength so if I if you can see now if I go to regular mode and move the strength so you can see it you can create like uh, can get smashed or get bended uh, bended or something like this so you can you can see like you get pretty interesting in fact and if you want like I said smooth kind of uh, edges and uh, smooth uh, result uh, just drop it inside the hyper and you get to go as you can see now it's pretty smooth and looks pretty interesting but yeah uh, hopefully you guys uh, learned something new or find it this helpful. It's more, I guess, of a tip, uh, tips and tricks than uh, a tutorial, I guess. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys find it helpful. And if you have any question about this uh, correction uh, tool or the former, just leave a comment. And one more thing before I end this tutorial, I forgot to mention. I have a fall off. This deformation have fall off. Well, basically, I can uh, define where I want the deformation to be and I can use for example spherical for the say uh, spherical kind of uh, fall off and as you can see here where is my sphere uh, the fall off the deformation gonna happen as you can see it looks like it's more uh, it kinda look like the collision deformer but it's not trust me and collision deformer doesn't give you or doesn't give you this flexibility with the kind of deformation that you want uh, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys like this uh, tip and if you have a question again, just leave a comment and Yep, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace